Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kumi. Um, today we are making meatball dippers. Um, what this is, is just going to be meatballs with some cheese inside of a biscuit, and you can dip it in some marinara sauce. I was running out of ideas, this kind of just popped into my head, so I'm going with there. I'm going with it. Um, as you can see today, got a glove on. I still have my injury that you saw in the last episode, but I've got to be mixing some meat, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to see my bandage down in the meat. So, alright, let's go ahead and get this started. We got one pound of ground beef, one pound of sausage, two eggs, roughly a teaspoon of oregano, which we will crush, chopped onion, sleeve of crackers, our marinara sauce, and then we I've got croissant roll or crescent roll uh, tubes that I'm using. We got string cheese, and then some butter and garlic. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing, we're going to mix this together. If any of you seen my meatloaf episode for my meatballs, I'm going to be mixing the same stuff together. For the most part, I'm adding in some oregano to give it a little extra flavor. Um, we're going to start with that. Then we'll put the meatball and a piece of cheese inside one of the croissants. And we're going to cook them. Alright, let's start mixing this stuff up. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're going to take the pound of ground beef. Your pound of sausage. Go ahead and add your onions. And let's get the crackers in there now. Take about roughly half a sleeve, so let's go ahead and crush those. And our oregano. Again, you're going to go ahead and crush this oregano inside your hand. That way you open up the flavor in it. If you're not sure if you're actually doing it, you will smell it. As soon as you start crushing it, the smell is going to start coming out of that oregano. Alright. And then take your two eggs. Oops. Without dropping the shell in there. Then you just dive right in and start mixing it up, just like you did with the uh, meatloaf. I could have put both gloves on. Then I wouldn't have to have any trouble getting uh, the crap off my hands. <laughs> okay. Now that we got that mixed up, what we're going to do is we're going to get the cheese chopped up into eh, half inch chunks roughly. And then we're going to make these into about one inch size, maybe inch and a half size meatballs. And then we'll wrap them in the uh, egg. I'm going to get these changed real quick. Hmm? Okay, now we're just going to take this and start cutting this string cheese. Oops, that was a little vague. We'll start cutting the string cheese in about half inch ish chunks this is the first time I've ever made this I didn't get a recipe I just kind of threw it together in my head so we'll see how this turns out together I guess the funny thing is, is when I decided I wanted this my options were I wanted something either barbecue or I wanted something in a biscuit. <laughs> and that's how I decided what I was having for dinner tonight.
you got your cheese cut up, go ahead and set that off to the side. We're going to start working with the, uh, yeah, biscuits now. is I took the three rolls of my crescent rolls and I put them all into a big bowl mashed them all together because after I opened the first one it was a little too sticky because they've been sitting out for about five ten extra minutes than what they should have been as far as still being cold so they weren't as easy to manage so what I did I mashed them all together and then I rolled them out on the table Cut them into squares, except for that one, it's a little odd. Alright, so what you're going to do, you're just going to grab some of your meat. Like I said, you want a roughly one inch diameter ball. You got one cheap piece of cheese, put it right in there with it. Boom. Just gonna fold this up on top of it. Just make sure you seal it all the way up. And then there you have it. Now take some cooking spray, spray a cookie sheet. Set that down, seam down. And then we're going to repeat this for the rest of them. And it appears I'm going to, you will need more uh, biscuits than just the three rolls. Because I'm going to have a lot more meat. Oops, I forgot my cheese. But I'm going to have a lot more meat than what I am uh, rolls. So I'm going to have to find something to do with the leftovers. I may have to make a small meatloaf. That's what the girlfriend suggested, but she's kind of in love with my meatloaf right now. And seam down. At this point, you should have your oven preheated to about 350 degrees. And then, that way when we get done with this, you can just throw them right in. continue making the rest of these and then we'll get back to you when we're about ready to put it in the oven okay we've got these all made up now we came out with what roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, thirteen of them all right got our oven preheated what we're going to do like i said i'm not quite sure how long to cook these so i've got it set at 350 I'm going to let them cook for about 15 minutes, and then I'll split one open and check it, see if it's cooked all the way through. Okay, now that we got those cooking, what we're going to do is we are going to mix up a some butter and garlic, which luckily, it's not going to take long for this butter to melt. We're going to have a garlic butter and garlic blend that we're just going to throw into the microwave and then we will stir this probably about every 30 seconds till it's an actual liquid put some garlic in there mix it all up this is going to go over top of them after they're done cooking
reason we do this every 30 seconds is so that we don't start burning it. It doesn't start getting too hot, but it's still getting hot enough to start melting the butter up. And you're just going to do this. Until it's all all liquid and there's no more chunks of butter in it. That's going to be pretty much good enough. I've actually got too much butter here, but... Okay, then we're just going to take our zester that I'm using the hell out of now that I bought one. I'm just going to zest this garlic down into here. I'm using two cloves of the garlic. Chunk. You got that. Mix it up, get the garlic moved through the butter. And that will be our butter sauce for on top of these. Okay, um, now we're just playing the waiting game until. The uh, meatball dippers get done, so as soon as those are done, we'll get back to you. Okay. Alright, um, these have been in for about 20 minutes now. They still weren't done yet, but we're starting to get really close. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pull these out, and I'm going to put some of this butter topping on it. That way, that can cook in there just as well. But as you can see, they are looking really good. This, I'm just gonna kind of spoon it on there. back in for hopefully only about another 10 minutes. Alright, we're going to pull these things out so we can start eating. Now 
we've had these in for 25 minutes. Um, we'll go ahead and check, make sure they're done. If they are, we'll get it plated up. All right, they are done, so we are going to get these uh, plated up for you guys. And they're a little bit bigger than a dipper now, so there's a little change of plan on this. What I'm going to do is put it Is now we're just going to cut these open, split it a little bit. Spoon some of that marinara sauce right down on it. Right down in it. And we will top these. cheese and there we have it I'm not really sure what to call these now because like I said they're a little bit bigger than dippers but they're a little bit bigger than dippers so I think we're just gonna call these biscuit covered meatballs for right now but hey they look good they smell good hopefully they're gonna taste good Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Um, if you want, give these things a try. Make them up. Let me know how they turned out. Um, drop me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Links in are down in the description for my... Links are down in the subscription. Wow. Links are down in the description for my uh, Twitter and my uh, Facebook page. Um, feel free to give me a follow. And like I said, if you enjoyed it, like the video. Until um, next time, we'll see you in the kitchen. Okay, everyone. Um, I just wanted to add, we just got done, or we just got finished eating these uh, biscuit-covered meatballs. They were great. I mean, everybody loved them. Even my picky daughter loved them. Um, I highly recommend you guys try this. It is a great recipe. All right, again, until next time, see you in the kitchen.